Hello, and welcome to today's math lesson. This math lesson is for August 27th, 2020. Today we're going to be reading the math curse, and we're going to be doing a little activity to go along with that. So as you're listening to this story today, what I'd like you to do is think about how you see math in your everyday life. Okay, we'll talk, discuss that a little bit when we're finished with the story. I think I'd better go to bed. Then the problems really begin. I dream I'm trapped in a room with no doors. Math Curse by John Sheska plus Lane Smith Narrated by Michelle Trachtenberg On Monday in math class, Mrs. Fibonacci says, You know, you can think of almost everything as a math problem. On Tuesday, I start having problems. I wake up at 7.15. It takes me 10 minutes to get dressed, 15 minutes to eat my breakfast, and one minute to brush my teeth. Suddenly, it's a problem. If my bus leaves at 8, will I make it on time? How many minutes in one hour? How many teeth in one mouth? I look in my closet, and the problems get worse. I have one shirt, three blue shirts, three striped shirts, and that ugly plaid shirt my Uncle Zeno sent me. One. How many shirts is that all together? Two. How many shirts would I have if I threw away that awful plaid shirt? Three. When will Uncle Zeno quit sending me such ugly shirts? I'm getting a little worried. Everything seems to be a problem. I take the milk out from my cereal and wonder, how many quarts in a gallon? How many pints in a quart? How many inches in a foot? How many feet in a yard? How many yards in a neighborhood? How many inches in a pint? How many feet in my shoes? Mrs. Fibonacci has obviously put a math curse on me. Everything I look at or think about has become a math problem. I tried to get on the bus without thinking about anything, but there are five kids already on the bus. Five kids get on at my stop, five more get on at the next stop, and five more get on at the last stop. True or false, what is the bus driver's name? The whole morning is one problem after another. There are 24 kids in my class. I just know someone is going to bring in cupcakes to share. We sit in four rows with six desks in each row. What if Mrs. Fibonacci rearranges the desks to make six rows, eight rows, three rows, two rows? I'm about to really lose it when the lunch bell rings. Unfortunately for me, lunch is pizza and apple pie. Each pizza is cut into eight equal slices. Each pie is cut into six equal slices. And you know what that means. Fractions. If I want two slices of pizza, should I ask for one eighth, two eighths, or two slices of pizza? What is another way to say half of an apple pie? Two sixths, three sixths, La moi de un ta au pomme. Which tastes greater? Half a pizza, half an apple pie. In art, we finally get to relax with a connect the dot picture. Here's my picture. Too bad it turns out to be a connect the ancient Mayan numerals picture. I stagger out of school. I'm a math zombie now. What if this keeps up for a whole year? How many minutes of math madness would that be? 
What's your problem, says my sister. 365 days times 24 hours times 60 minutes, I snarl. I think I'd better go to bed. Then the problems really begin. I dream I'm trapped in a room with no doors and no windows. The room is covered with a lifetime of problems. I only have one piece of chalk. How do I get out? I'm about to give up and die. When the answer to my problem comes to me. Fractions! I break the chalk in half. Then I put the two halves together. One half plus one half equals one hole. I put the hole on the wall and jump out. I'm free! I wake up on Wednesday morning at 7.15. It takes me 10 minutes to get dressed, 15 minutes to eat my breakfast, and one minute to brush my teeth. My bus leaves at 8. What time will I be ready? 7.41. No problem. I've broken the math curse. I can solve any problem. And life is just great. Until science class. When Mr. Newton says, You know, you can think of almost everything as a science experiment. <laughs> Wow, so that crazy math teacher put a math curse on her class. Are you seeing math? Were you thinking about different ways as you were listening to the story that you've seen math in your life every day? I know one of the things that I was thinking about where I see math was when I bake and when I cook. Can you come up with an idea? And that's what we did today in class. Um, we came up with some ideas that we've seen in our everyday life. So if you want to go ahead and write a few of those ideas down, you can do that. And then here's our activity for the day. So we're going to continue with this story and we're going to kind of come up with our own twist. And what I'm asking you all to do is to create your own page of the book of the math curse by telling how you encounter math during the day after you've been cursed by your math teacher. Let me do this. You should write it in first person. That means you're gonna use I for your main character. And what I did here is put a couple of examples so that you could see the examples. So go ahead and take some time and read those and check them out. And you can reference, I have posted the PowerPoint or the slide presentation on our classroom assignment. So you can click on that and open it up so that you can read them or zoom in if you need to, to see them a little bit closer on there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of the slides on this presentation and write your name at the top of it so that we know that that's your slide. And I'm going to give you the choice because I know that some of you are very creative and you like to draw and you're great artists. And some of you don't like to do that. You'd rather use the computer and do some typing. So you have the choice. You can either create your page on a piece of paper and then take a picture of it. So you can draw your pictures. You can use some color, colored pencils. And then you can take a picture of it. And the way that you would do that is you would go to upload or go to insert and then go down to image and then over to camera. And then you can hold your paper up to the camera and click this icon, this camera icon. And that way you can insert your picture that you've created, your page in your math curse onto a slide. The other thing you could do would be to just use your use the slide. You can use Google Images to find pictures for your page in the math curse. And then you can type your story. Okay? If you need help getting started on that or you need some ideas, feel free to 
um, message me and let me know and I can help you with that. The last thing I want you to do as part of this assignment is to click on the uh, picture and complete the exit ticket. Um, and I'll just go ahead and open it so you can see what it looks like. So it says math curse exit ticket. And then after you complete it, you can go ahead and you can turn it in. Get rid of that. Okay, so your assignments for today's math class is to come up with a page in the math curse after you've been cursed by your math teacher and then complete the exit ticket. If you have any questions, please let me know.